it's time to connect an external keyboard to our system to take advantage of the expressiveness it will bring to our play. Let's plug in the Osmos and see how it works. By default, the active track settings lets you play incoming MIDI on whichever track is currently selected. To access that setting, go to Global Settings and open MIDI In. From there, you can choose the port and channel for the input. In this example, I disable that option and instead route the MIDI input directly to a specific track. Don't forget to save your settings if you want them to be restored at the next startup. Then I'll go into Track Settings, open the MIDI In menu and set the correct port and channel for this track. While we're here, let's also assign a CC message for the modulation lane. We'll use that later on. Now let's create a layout. I'll go with the three voice mono plus aftertouch plus modulation layout to get the most out of Osmosis expressivity. I'm setting the Osmos to classic keyboard mode. I'll also configure pressure to be sent on CC10 and leave aftertouch set to channel pressure. The expressivity data is now recorded into the modulation lanes and we play back with the loop.